Hello, you are welcome to Creative Ends platform. If today is your first time joining me, thank you so much. And if you've been an old subscriber, I love you. Thank you very much. So today I'm making a turban on which I'll be using the princess mat to create the design. And then the measurement for the material I'll be using is 28 inches by 28 inches because I want to create it as a body plate. So that's why I'm using that much. I want to make a body plated turban. So 28 by 28. And then I want to cross the band. I want to cross the band. That is the front. I want to create that V look uh, for the front. So to do that, the measurement for the material I'll be using will be 8 inches by 17. 8 inches wide, 17 inches uh, long. So first of all, I'll start with the body plate. To create the body plate is a very easy process. It does not really take time for us. I mean, it does not um, require more stress, though it takes time. Yes, you need to give your time to it to be able to create a, a, enough plate. So for the body plate, if you are new, you can use your measurement tape, uh, lie the material down flat and then start measuring maybe two, two inches in distance and then you sew it. But for me, I am just sewing like that. I'm not measuring. So I just fold in maybe like two inches or one and a half inches and then I'll just use my machine to run through it. So I'll continue this process until I'm able to sew the whole of that 28 inches by 28 inches. So if you want your body pleat to be very close, then you need to do a distance that is close. And then if you don't really want it close, then you can do like three inches. Three inches apart is okay. But if you want it close, one and a half inches apart, or two inches. Two inches is not even very, very close. If you want it very, very close, then you have to be patient to do one inches apart. Is that okay? So this is just how I'll run through this material. I will allow you to watch that. After running through the material, I'll come back and fix it on the base. Uh, so after running through the material, I'll come back and then fix it on the base. This is how it will look. This is how it will look. So to fix it on the base, I'll first of all cross the base. I'll cross the base and the type of base I'm making is such that I want two of the crossing and the two of the crossing pattern is also different because sometimes I can just put both of them together and then cross, create a pleat and then cross. But for this particular one, I want to cross it separately such that uh, the second uh, crossing should be on top of the first one. So this is just how I will create that. But if you, you are not too comfortable like this, you can first of all run through the band before crossing. But I prefer crossing it this way. Then I will use the interlock machine to, to lock it. That is weaving machine to just lock it. Uh, so instead of like trying to sew and all of that before crossing, I finish crossing, then I will use the weaving machine to lock it. So when I put it down like this, I will just come and then place the turban on it, using placing the right side of the fabric, the right side 
on the base don't place the 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 wrong side though you can see that the part that the pleat is showing is the part you are seeing at this moment so that is how you place it so that by the time you are done sewing it and you flip it over it will be the front view that you will now see eh so you place it in such a way that you will be seeing the wrong side you place it so that you see the wrong side that's how it works so by the time you sew you will not when you turn it will be the right to right that you will see all right so this is just how how if you have pin pin everything down but if you don't try and make sure you secure that midpoint before sewing so i'll just sew it with my machine and then show you quickly so now i am done sewing and you can see the excess or rough part behind i'll cut that part out or if you don't want to cut it using scissors just go to the weaving machine the weaving machine as it's weaving it will cut it off all right so now this is how it will look yes so you can see it's front to front now and you can see the cross base so this is the pattern of the cross base i was trying to do all right so since this material i told you that i don't consider it as a stretchy fabric so what i usually do is that i treat it like satin material so i always attach a, a handle to it so when i major now you see that it's measuring 29 inches that would just be too big for me to attach handle to so what i did was to take off three inches from both sides from the left and the right side i removed three inches which we reduce the turban to about uh 23 inches i think yes so with that i can easily add my handle and you can also see the way i cut while i was trimming i trim exactly at the front but while i was moving towards the end you see that i had to like move my hands to cover enough space so that the turban can fit into the head so what i'll do again is that i run that edge using at least seven inches inward to run that that edge so because that part i will not be sewing it it will be opened so after that i will just quickly attach the handle to it so creating the handle you can so you can use any length to create your your handle but for me i used five five inches uh wideness and then your length totally depend on you but if you can do 10 it's okay all right so i just fix it in and then i'll sew maybe i'll just allow you to watch the rest part of the video if there's any uh, aspect where uh i need to make any form of uh, of explanation i will come in and do that but for now just enjoy the video let me just chip this in. If today is your first time stopping by this channel and you love this video, please do subscribe to the channel and then hit on that notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, you will be the first to be notified about it. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.